Okay, so this is my Mac machine and uh, uh, this is my Mac M1 machine. And here, if I try to do it uh, with UTM, and if I try to create a machine, and if I select others, and if I browse Kali ISO, download it for AMD64, and I'll just put continue, I'll give the RAM and other stuff. Uh, if I just create it and if I just try to start it, basically you will be getting up an error and you will be ending up to the shell console of uh, this particular QM emulator. Now, if uh, you try to do it, you try to go to like file system zero and you try to execute the bootloader from here. Still, you won't be succeeding in this. It says like unsupported. Why? Because of the drivers, it won't be supporting out the drivers and the offset size and the block size for those particular driver partition has not been allocated to it. So let's try to do that and let's try to figure out like how we can uh, install Kali in successfully in an M1 chipset environment okay so let me first zoom in okay so as you can see like uh i do have uh, the files here with me which these are the two files which will be uh, for setting up our drivers and uh, the other stuff to be working in an emulated environment for our kali so this is the file which uh, will be containing our bios for uefi environment which will be emulated during the boot okay to boot this will be requiring uh, uh, the specific firmware for uh, to make it compatible with our qmu so the efi uh, files will be stored in this particular image it will be containing your firmware instances which will be helping you to boot this particular bios and then we can go ahead and boot our kali machine so initially what we need to do is we need to first uh, make a block size for this particular uh, image for this firmware and uh, so to make it like uh, it's basically 1024 by 64 uh, which is your count and the block size so let us first uh, make this compatible to boot this uh, firmware. So for that, I'll be using up a command that is dd then if equal to slash dev slash zero. And then I'll paste up this command. Okay. So now, uh, so what it does basically is so just uh, allocate the block size of 1024 and it will just uh, copy the bytes number of bytes in this particular block so you can see that uh, records in and records out will be there and this much amount of bytes has been transferred to this particular block okay so now let us just uh, go ahead and make the another one also compatible with our environment okay so this one also we have made it okay so now all these has been uh, made compatible now let's go up to our utm and let's try to boot our kali so well here we are within our kali okay so let me just delete the previous instance and just create a new one others and then i'll select uh, the kali iso Let me just increase the memory and then just click on continue. I'll give it a name, let's say Kali. Click on save and then I'll edit it. Now, if you can see, like I do have two drives over here, uh, one is 
usb uh, or the cd rom which you can say and uh, another one is uh, the hard drive okay and now i'll be pulling up those two files which was there uh, these two so first one i'll open here it comes the first one now uh, the interface i'll be giving it as pc system flash okay so i'll just pull up the another one also the interface type it should be pc flash pc flash and i guess there is no kali here just save it and let me just check it okay kali is here let me just try to boot it okay so once you are done with that so now we are good to go to set up the new virtual machine and, uh, if i go to the if i if i go here in uh, my utm i click on new i'll click on virtualize i click on another i'll browse my images uh, okay so here is one of the catch uh, which you need to take care like here i have two two images uh one is uh, the latest kali that is 20 22 and dot two and 2022 dot one if you boot with 2022 the latest one uh and i'll click here next and then continue and I'll give some size of hard disk and then okay i'll create a shared over here click uh, share kali uh, i'll name it as kali two zero triple two and i'll save it now if you try to boot this particular image so as you can see like it is booting up but you won't be able to like uh, install it it will just come up uh, with a blank screen and it won't you won't be able to do anything uh, it's it's a blank screen i think there is something with the uh, issue with the kernel be able to boot and install uh i think there is some issue with the resolution or with some kernel issue with, with the latest version but here this one we can install it and uh, we can just upgrade it and we can fully upgrade the kernel once we have we have completely installed it and it will be working fine it will come to the all the latest things in it well uh, okay so what we are trying to do over here is like we need to install kali in our mac m1 machine so i was going through this guide and uh, the initially if you will do it so uh, let me just share up my screen and show you like how it will be done so Okay, so this is my Mac machine and uh, uh, this is my Mac M1 machine. And here, if I try to do it uh, with UTM, and if I try to create a machine and if I select others and if I browse the uh, Kali ISO, download it for AMD64 and I'll just Put continue i'll give the ram and other stuff uh, if i just create it and if i just try to start it basically you will be getting up an error and you will be ending up to the shell console of uh, this particular qmu emulator now if uh, you try to do it you try to go to like file system zero and you try to execute the 
bootloader from here till you won't be succeeding in this it says like unsupported why because of the drivers it won't be supporting out the drivers and the offset size and the block size for those particular driver partition has not been allocated to it so let's try to do that and let's try to figure out like how we can uh, install kali in successfully in an m1 chipset environment okay so let me first zoom in okay so as you can see like uh, i do have uh, the files here with me which these are the two files which will be requiring uh, for setting up our drivers and uh, the other stuff to be working in an emulated environment for our Kali. So, uh, so this is the file which will be containing our BIOS for UEFI environment which will be emulated during the boot. Okay, to boot this will be requiring uh, the specific firmware for uh, uh, to make it uh, to make it compatible with uh, with our QMU. So the EFI uh, files will be stored in this particular image. It will be containing your firmware instances, which will be helping you to boot this particular BIOS and then we can go ahead and boot our Kali machine. So initially what we need to do is we need to first uh, make a block size for this particular uh, image for this firmware and uh, so to make it like uh, it's basically 1024 by 64 uh, which is your count and the block size so let us first uh, so let us first uh, make this compatible to boot this uh, firmware. So for that, I'll be using up a command that is dd, then if. Equal to slash dev slash zero. And then I'll paste up this command. Okay. So now uh, it what it does. So what it does basically is it will just uh, 
it will just uh, allocate the block size of 1024 and it will just uh, copy the bytes number of bytes for in this particular block so you can see that uh, records in and records out will be there and this much amount of bytes has been transferred to this particular block okay so now let us just uh, go ahead and make the another one also compatible with our environment Okay, so this one also we have made it. Okay. So now all these has been uh, made compatible. Now let's go up to our UTM and let's try to boot our Kali. So, well, here we are within our Kali. Okay, so let me just delete the previous instance and just create a new one. Others, and then I'll select the Kali ISO. Okay, let me just increase the memory and then just click on continue i'll give it a name let's say kali click on save and then i'll edit it now if you can see like i do have two drives over here uh, one is usb uh, or the cd-rom which you can say and uh, another one is uh, the hard drive Okay, and now I'll be pulling up those two files which was there, uh, these two. So first one I'll open, uh, here it comes the first one. Now uh, the interface, I'll be giving it as PC system flash. And I'll save it, oops, I'll just... Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just pull up the another one also. Oh, it didn't ask me for the interface type. It should be PC flash, PC flash. And I guess there is no Kali here. just save it and let me just check it okay kali is here uh, let me just try to boot it Okay, stay tuned and hope you like this video. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.